Grace and peace, people of Rose Park. Welcome again to another weekly Bible study. In this season of Lent, this 40-day period, we as a worshiping community, we've been taking on the practice of communal prayer. And one aspect of that that we'd like to highlight in this season of Lent is that when we pray, we're using the prayer book of the church, the book of Psalms. So in this weekly Bible study, we've been going through the book of Psalms. We've been hearing the joys and the sorrows, the laments and the thanksgivings that God's people have offered up to the ear of God for thousands of years. If you desire to go back and watch some of those Psalms, we'd highly recommend them. You, it is not necessary that you have to watch one after the other in sequential order. Uh, that's the beauty of the Psalms. Though they fit into the narrative of Scripture, we can also isolate them and hold them as individual prayers. And so this morning, we travel to Psalm 121. Before we hear from God's Word, I trust that you've already got your, your Bible or your journal or your pen around you. Before we jump into God's Word and have our eyes opened by the Spirit to see and hear what God might be showing to us. Would you quiet your hearts and pray with me? The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of the Lord remains forever. God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are our cornerstone, the rock and bedrock of our faith. May this word, may it open our eyes Open our ears and open our hearts for everything that you want us to see, hear, and experience. It's in the name of Jesus we pray and let all God's people say, Amen. Hear now a word of the Lord from Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those first two verses, perhaps you've heard them in classical hymns or modern day praise music. Maybe you've seen it on the insert of a card or a funeral bulletin. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. These are bedrock words in our faith, but oftentimes they are misunderstood. In the biblical world, when the question is asked, I lift up my eyes to the hills, from where will my help come? A person in the biblical world would know their help doesn't come from the hills or the mountains. Though hills and mountains are beautiful, and we believe that God is powerful enough to move those mountains, though we know that, that Moses goes up the mountain to meet God, we know our help doesn't come from those hills and mountains. Because a person in the biblical world would know that when we look to the hills, we're looking to idol worship because that's where idol worship occurred in the biblical world. It would happen on the outskirts of town, up in the hills, up in the mountains. And so when we ask the question, I lift my eyes to the hills, will my help come from the hills? The answer is no. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. As we continue in this Lenten season, this 40-day period of reflection and repentance, as we continue to navigate the world that we're living in right now, I want to press us and ask us, where are our eyes going when looking for help? Do our eyes gaze towards the hills and the mountains? Are we looking for help from the idols in our life, from a relationship, from a job, from a degree at the end of our name, from a financial standpoint, 
or a retirement standpoint or a vacation? Are we looking to the wrong things for help? Psalm 121 and the season of Lent remind us, our eyes look to Jesus, for he is our help. He is our sacrificial lamb. He is our cornerstone. And life and life eternal only happen through him. Thanks so much for joining us. We look forward to joining with you next week as well. Grace and peace, and we look forward to seeing you in worship.